Hello and welcome to this uh, exercise on uh, sequences uh, linear and quadratic. It is uh, an examination question from a past exam paper for IGCSE higher tier and I'm sure it is also suitable for GCSE mathematics higher tier and also for grade 10, grade 11 algebra or mathematics. Now I'm sure we will all have seen something similar to this at some stage in our in our studies. Um, what I've done here is I've paraphrased the question itself, otherwise it gets too wieldy, so I made, made, made it simpler, uh, hopefully made it simpler. Now, what to give, given the, these triangles here, which I tried to draw myself, and also this table here, and then it says, uh, complete the table and find the number of triangles and dots in the ninth set. And then it goes on to say, find the nth term and simplify, and hence find, find the hundredth term. Right, now the, the number of triangles, but that's, that's easy enough because what you've got there are essentially uh, square numbers. So you've got 16, 25, and next one is 36. That's what you've got there. Now, the, uh, for the number of dots, that's a bit more involved. Uh, what I've done is to restate what's, what's given to us here, 3, 6, 9, 10, 15, 3, 6, 10, 15. And the difference is uh, between um, terms, something like 3, 4, and 5, and that's because if you add 3 to 3, you get 6, add 6 to 4, you get 10, if you add, and if you add 10 to 5, you get 15. Uh, so if you add 15 to 6, you should get uh, 21, and if you add 21 to 7, you should get 28. So now I've got the one, two, three, four, five, six terms there. And then we're supposed to find the ninth uh, set. Now again, I've reproduced part of this um, table here, and that's what we've got there. So we're not bothered about the uh, the seventh, the number of triangles and uh, for the set for the seventh set and the number of triangles in the 8th set. For, for the ninth set, that's going to be 81, obviously. Now, for the dots, for the 7th set, the 6th set is 28, and so the number of dots for the 7th set is going to be 28 plus 8, which is 36, and then for the 8th set, 36 plus 9, 45, and then for the ninth set, 45 plus 10, and that's 55. Okay, now for the next, I'm, I'm going to go and, and do the uh, next slide now, and that will involve looking at this question here. Right, now for section B or part B, we want to find a formula, and with that, hopefully, to find the hundredth term. Now, what you notice from what was been given to us, we got from 3, 6, 10, 15. So, in effect, that there is triangular number truncated, if it's what I mean, because they miss out the one and the zero. So why not use what we already know, uh, a bit of dynamic programming, if, if as it were, use what we know and then go, don't go back to the basics. So uh, we know that n to m plus one over two will give us the triangular numbers, the form of a triangular numbers. So now, if we substitute n for the for the first term, we have 1 into 1 plus 1 divided by 2. And that's equal to 1. But we've got 2 left. We are short, we are short by 2. So what I then did was to, to use the triangular number formula, plus 1, which stands for the position, and then plus 1 again. Right, so we now end up with n into n plus 1 divided by 2 plus n plus 1. Now, if we check it out, I mean, this will give you uh, 1 plus 1 is 2, divide 2 by 2, you get 1. And 1 times 1 is 1, so 1 plus 1 plus 1 will give you 3. So that's okay for the first term. Now, for the second term, we know we've got 6 dots for the second term. If we then do, uh, again, using the formula n into n plus 1 divided by 2 plus n plus 1, we then have that 2 plus 1 is 2, divide 2 by 2, you get 1, 
well, sorry, sorry. Two plus one is three. Three times two is six. Divide six by two, you get three. Three plus two, five. Five plus one is six. So that works for the second term. And similarly for the third term, where we've got 10 dots, uh, we've got three plus four, which is four. Divide four by two, you get two. Two times three is six. Six plus three plus one will give us 10. So that works. Now, let's try for the ninth term, for which we had 55. Now, for the ninth term, uh, 9 plus 1 is 10. Divide 10 by 2, we get 5. 5 times 9 is 45. 45 plus 9 54. 54 plus 1 is 55. So that, that works as well. Anyway, moving on. And so what we now got is n into m plus 1 over 2 plus m plus 1. And that's the same as saying n into m plus 1 over 2 plus 2n over 2. So if you multiply and divide by 2, multiply n by 2 and divide by 2, which is what we got here, we made a difference at all. We still get n. Similarly, if we multiply 2 by 1 and divide by 2, we made the difference at all. Right, so we then end up, if we then isolate the uh, a half, we have uh, n into... Oh, sorry, half into n into m plus 1 plus 2m plus 2. Open up the bracket, inner bracket. We end up with n squared plus m plus 2m plus 2. Now, collecting like terms, we end up with a half n squared plus 3m plus 2. So, to find the hundredth term, what we then do is a half... Uh, times 10,000 because 100 squared is 10,000 plus 3 times 100 which is 300 plus 2 and when you have that you get to end up with 5,151 dots and I hope all that made some sense please go back and check again and thank you for watching and I see you again sometime please subscribe thank you bye bye